He acquires most who requires nothing but commands respect. Erasmus, the education of a Christian prince. Hi there, let's continue our Servantine journey through history's greatest novel. Multiple sources inform the advice that follows, among them Isocrates, Aesop, and Erasmus. The main theme is that Sancho should remain humble by remembering his base origins. The Hidalgo wants to repress the squire's ethnic pride. Don Quixote's first advice is Christian. Above all else, Sancho should fear God because there is wisdom in fearing him. His second advice is Socratic and Platonic. Sancho must know himself. You must look to yourself, procuring to know yourself, which is the most difficult knowledge imaginable. Cervantes' deeply humanist sense of merit, as opposed to noble right, dominates this passage, counterpoising two interrelated topics, humility and lineage. Sancho, not all who govern are from royal lines, Don Quixote, Make a spectacle, Sancho, of your humble lineage and seek to be humble and virtuous rather than noble and sinful. This hints at the converso theme. There is no reason to be envious of those who have fathers and grandfathers who are princes and nobles because blood is inherited, but virtue is achieved. And virtue alone is worth more than blood. Sancho should ignore anyone who accuses him of blood purity. If he acts well, he will be free from malicious rumor from whom no social order escapes. Did you know, in spite of being the major source at the origins of Western political philosophy and ethics, the only thing Socrates manages to affirm in Plato's dialogue Meno is, I know literally nothing about virtue. Similarly, Don Quixote recalls the ethnic significance of ham in early modern Spain, just as a peacock is shamed by his feet so Sancho's humble origins as a pig farmer will keep him from vanity and arrogance. Your memory of having herded pigs on your land will be the ugly feet beneath the peacock's tail of your insane foolishness. Next comes interesting advice on women. Some of this sounds harsh to modern readers, but like Erasmus and Vives, Don Quixote strongly affirms the notion that Sancho should educate his wife, teach her, instruct her, and smooth away her natural crudeness. At the same time, Cervantes always represents the other perspective. Thus, Don Quixote tells Sancho to beware of beautiful women. The rest of this first round of advice concerns avoiding corruption, remaining objective, and favoring mercy and compassion over pure justice and legal rigor. The general theme of corruption appears again in Don Quixote's advice on how to handle women in his very subtle allusion to the juicio de residencia, which translates as something like inquiry into vacating office. This refers to a mandatory trial of all public officials that was conducted at the end of their terms in office, an absolutely wonderful tradition of early modern Spanish governance. We also get a good sense of the eternal difficulties posed by the slippery slope of magnanimity on the one hand and the dangerous harshness of impartiality on the other. Sancho should not be an arbitrary judge, never be guided by legal relativism. He should be kind to the less fortunate, but not biased toward them. Let the tears of the poor find in you more mercy, but not more justice than the arguments of the rich. Quixotic mission. What obligatory process for all public officials at the end of their service is alluded to on numerous occasions throughout Don Quixote? A. Review of time in office. B. Tax on earnings. C. Deposition. Correct answer. A. Review of time in office. At the same time, Don Quixote repeatedly says to avoid bribes. Be sure to seek the truth amidst the promises and bribes of the rich, as well as the sobs and pleas of the poor, and if you happen to bend the staff of justice, let it be swayed not by gifts, but rather by mercy. Chapter 42 ends with a transition from the soul of a prince to his body. What I have told you so far are documents designed to adorn your soul. Listen now to those that will serve to adorn your body. At first glance, Don Quixote's use of the term documents seems to mean instructions in a general sense instead of specifically written information. 
In the coming chapters, however, we shall see that the lack of a written record of political rules is a serious problem for Sancho. That's all for now. Keep reading. The story only gets better in the coming chapters. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here. Thank you.